In addition to group analyses, you may want to run correlation analyses. This allows you to test whether a structural measurement, like thickness or volume, correlates with an individual difference measure. Remember that our dataset comes with a file called participants.tsv, which contains several potential covariates. For example, we have a measure called audit, which is a questionnaire about alcohol use. In addition, we may want to include age as a covariate, either to see whether thickness or volume correlates with it, or to regress it out of our model when looking at group comparisons. Before going on, let's review FreeSurfer's options for modeling. Different onset, different slope, or DODS, and different onset, same slope, or DOS. DODS is the default. It estimates a separate mean, or intercept, for each group in our model, as well as estimating a separate slope for each additional regressor or covariate. DOS estimates a separate intercept for each group, but estimates only one slope per regressor, since it assumes that the slope for that regressor is identical across groups. So, which one should you use? It's up to you. DOS will increase your degrees of freedom and therefore increase your power, since there are fewer parameters to estimate. However, if you think that DODS is a more accurate model of your data, then you should use that. Now let's see how including additional covariates affects our FSGD file and our contrasts. Open up the participants.tsv file and the cannabis study.fsgd file in Excel. From the participants.tsv file, copy the age at baseline and audit baseline columns to the FSGD file making sure they match up with their corresponding subject. Then, add another row below the classes and type variables. Anything written after this specifies the covariates that are in your model after the class column, so make sure they also match the order of your covariates. In the cells to the right of variables, type age and audit. Then save it out as a text file calling it cannabis study underscore age underscore audit and run the same tr command as before to get rid of the carriage returns. Now go to the contrast directory and make three new contrasts. Use the echo command to insert a vector 1 negative 1 0 0 0 0 into a file called hc minus cb underscore age underscore audit dot mtx. This will contrast the structural measurements of the groups while regressing out age and the audit scores. Note that since we're using DODs, we estimate one parameter per regressor per group. For example, given that in our FSGD file, we first entered age as a covariate and then audit scores, those two numbers are the slope estimates for age, and these two numbers are the slope estimates for audit. To break it down further, this number is the slope estimate for age for the HC group, while this number is the slope estimate for age for the CB group. Take a guess at the breakdown of the last two numbers. If this were a DOS model, we would have one parameter estimate per covariate. In that case, our contrast would look like this, 1, negative 1, 0, 0. This number would be the contrast weight for age collapsed across group, and this number would be the contrast weight for the audit score's slope collapsed across group. Always make sure that your contrast files and your FSGD files match up. One more thing. The more groups you add, the more regressors you need to add to your contrast files. Let's say we had three groups and kept the age and audit covariates. If we did a contrast of group 1 versus group 3, for example, it would look like this. 1, 0, negative 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. That's six zeros to the right of negative 1. The first three columns code for group, 
The next three code for age, and the last three code for the audit scores. The same breakdown of individual numbers follows the same pattern as in the previous example. Take a guess what the contrast file would look like for DOS. Going back to our first example, let's make one more contrast for the average slope of the audit scores. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Call it auditslope.mtx. Now make some edits to the run GLM script to run these contrasts. Rename the contrasts, and if you want to switch to DOS, specify that here. Then rerun the MRI's preproc script, the run GLM script, and the run plus sim script, just like we did before. I've made a higher level script which will run all of them with one command. Make sure to use the name of your updated FSGD file as the argument. When it's done, looking at the group maps is the same as what we did in the previous group analysis video. For example, in the audit slope directory, we can see where there's a significant correlation between audit scores and volume. Next up is ROI analysis. Almost there.